Well, good afternoon, everybody. Right, what a difference two days make. Bit of heat and a bit of sunshine. Tomatoes have gone ballistic. I need to pick these. This is the glass greenhouse. The other day they was all green. But now, they're all, well, most of them all now ready for picking, which I will do. One's not got so many on. And there's them there. So what I'll do, I'll pick these. I don't know if I showed you those around here. I'll pick these. And then I'll show, I'll show you these. And then what's in the wood greenhouse. There you go, whoops. Another load there ready. So, catch you in a minute. So, here we are now in the wood greenhouse. Well, wooded. And these are getting, they're not quite ready, so I won't pick all of them today. I'll do most of them. And a few there. Some nice ones there as well. And some down here, which will be taken. Some big ones there, which one will be ready. And then I've got the one in there, and I think that one's gonna have to go today because it's, it's getting there now. Right, I'll pick these and I'll let you see what we've got. Right, they're the ones out the wooden greenhouse. And they are fairly big. I would say this one just here, but is a booty and when i get home i think i might weigh that and let you see what it weighs right i'm going to go in a bag and then go them all weighed in one go so just hang fire and i'll be back right scales on zero so just old women let me get the bag oh yeah here we go if i can hang on <clears throat> Whoops. Right. These are Rob's onions off the allotment. Not all of them, I've still got more. Yeah. Which he picked Thursday. The is it fourth or fifth of know, August two thousand and twenty. Okay. And uh, these are my little pickings from out the garden this morning. You know, ignore that punishment thing for a reason. Right. This was mine from out of the garden pickings this morning which were down here on the, I have to excuse the carpet, I'm airing it, I have two dogs and I have to have a bit of freshness in the house. Um, so from here I picked that small amount even though we picked a lot more off of the allotment Okay, and uh, we've got some tomatoes now coming up right in here in special type pots but we noticed that that is split but we've got no what you call that stuff on the bottom even though we know you can use them with the brown with the if, if you've not been watering regular right so this is Rob just coming back to him right now then you wanted to talk about your onions didn't you yeah these okay. I'm gonna weigh and measure them all that size just zero that will just for that's nice eating onion yeah nice size and you've zeroed it have you yeah oh. so it's just shooting up there one pound three ounce one pound three ounces okay. all right so that's that one i'd say not all on them and, and these are special did you get best special seeds for these maybe? yeah for them off the internet or no anyway yeah so there's that one that which one. Not a bad one, I think. That's a, what you call a jack, doesn't even fit in the dish, does it? Okay, four pound point seven ounce. Four pound point seven. Uh, okay. Uh, that one, let's see. Put that one back there, and we'll do that one. At the back. That okay. one's the biggish one again. Do you happen to know the name of these seeds? These are ALC. Okay. 
ALC seats. ALC, yeah. How much do they cost then per no seat? No idea. You're not going to tell me, are you? That's four pound <laughs> ten ounce. Four pound ten. That's almost a, okay. Yeah, we've got it getting near. And then, last and least, mm -hmm. I believe, will be that one. Now oh, that is a big one. Just check that you've got to zero. So nobody. There we go then, that will just fit in there. And it just fits in the pot, look guys. It's only just as tight as out. Five oh. pounds, okay. three out, and that's oh, the whole round. Five pounds, three ounces. Yep, and you want to measure it now, don't you, that's sir? how round it is. So he's going to measure it now with the tape measure. <laughs> out of my um, needle box, where I put my bits and bobs in. Nicked it, don't forget to put it back. Come round here. Oh, look at that, don't I? I'm going to go for 23 inch. 23 inches, yeah. Okay. But then it's got to be tidied up. Okay. Okay, okay. That's the biggest one ever I've grown. Mm. So uh, there. Yeah. These onions, oh. though, guys, are, are only fit for like chopping up and putting yeah, in a now. salad or on a sandwich mm. because they're not strong, what I call strong cooking onion. If you want some flavour in a stew and things like that casserole dishes um, they're Some okay for tomatoes. frying um, but they still don't have a great bang of the problem onion, is you, but need to, all right. you need a big loaf yeah to make a sandwich yeah you do <laughs> some tomatoes which i right. picked the other day we picked these the other day again i think from the allotment this time weren't yeah, they they're nice ones yeah nice handy sizes see what, see what they're going to say just chuck some of that soil that's in I there. I don't think we're going to that. It's still, it's still on zero. zero. Right. Yeah. right. That one's going to be about half a pound. Oh, one pound. One pound. We'll say a pound. Yeah. And that mm -hmm. one. Maybe. That'll be 12 ounces. 12 ounces. So it's lighter Three than that Three quarters one. of yeah, a pound. Yeah. And then yesterday. And then yesterday you I picked. I think it was. I don't know. Yeah, yesterday that. you went down and you picked these. Pick those Let's ones. just oh, move this oops. basket slightly out of the way because you can't see the full. Flory. Again. Just a second. Just get. Can you just step back, please? Thank you. That's it. Yeah. Right. Okay. So they were yesterday's from the allotment. Do you want to weigh that one? I'll weigh that one. That seems to be. Come out of the batch, didn't it? The biggest. There you go. Oh, there you go. just under a pound at fifteen ounce. Yeah. Right. But then, just for something to do. We separated some of the larger ones, so you need to be oh, careful to put the three there. Those okay. three. Those three. So I would say pick. that's the biggest. Biggest. And that will be about the biggest yet. Okay. Which? That's 15. That's the same as that other one, isn't it, Morris? Yeah. Not much, in it? That was the same as that. Uh -huh. So that's those oh, three. But then... Put it back to with the others, Robert. Put that yeah, one back with right, the... Let's see. Right. Then... then we have that one. <laughs> That's it. Right? Look at that. Um, we, we just, uh, uh, we've got a hell of a sandwich. <laughs> After that, that cheese and tomato sandwich. Tomato and a more. Step back a bit further. It's massive. Right, come on then, come on, weigh that now, my. These are from Peter Glazebrook seed. Peter Glazebrook seed, yeah. okay. Right, let's see what that weighs in that. What do you reckon? I don't know. I'm going to say just pound, under two three pound. pound. Three pound. No, no way, no. Two, three pound. Let's, let's go up to two and a half then. No. Nope. I'll say two and a half. Two oh. pound, four ounce. Yeah, so that's a big one, isn't it? It's that almost fitting the dish, isn't it? The biggest tomato I've ever grown. What was the seeds grown. again on those? Peter Glazebrook. Were these all Peter Glazebrook? No, Because no, you've, you've got some no, plum shaped. Sorts. Yeah, the big ones. Tomatoes. <laughs> I don't know what that looked like, but it was a bit rude with a dip on the end. Um, and then the small plum ones, didn't they? Yeah, they're these are what like the Italian style. Harry's plums. Italian plum. Yeah, they're quite nice. You've got quite a good, a good lot, yeah, a good well, selection. Was all on one. Line. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, and that's besides those in that little green thing, eh? And then there. we've got these to pick off as and when. So we're gonna. Uh, Give, give out some room. maybe to the neighbours and things. Uh, it's got some elderly local neighbours. Just so. go down to the quad pots. The quad pots, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're all in there. This year, they're going to go into the greenhouse.
house next yeah. year. And do they stop that thing from underneath the, yeah. tomorrow, you know, the so black, infrequent, what you call infrequent watering? Yeah. yeah. Oops. Just bang the elbow. Constantly. Yeah. And these, he's not done very well with these onions. These were sets. Sets, weren't they? Yeah, they're onion sets. These. And they're shallots. Yeah. And these are the pickling onions that we're gonna we're doing. We actually started some the other day, but we ran out of uh, our vinegar because I can't eat malt vinegar. I'm allergic to it, so we have to do everything in our white wine vinegar or red wine vinegar. So we're um, we've run out and we went down the local shop this morning. <laughs> That's what everybody's doing. <laughs> but uh, we'll we'll be doing them again, hopefully in the next couple of days. So. Sets, which you've not done very well with. No, I feel that that was a waste of time. Those big as pick uh, shallots. Okay. And explain what you're going to do with these pots down here at the bottom of the garden. Like these will. That. Can you follow me down so we can just get get so people know what we're talking about? And uh, this was where he'd got the blight uh, with the potatoes, right? And he chopped all the tops off. And uh, the potatoes, are they still in the, in the buckets, right? Yeah, the potatoes are still in there. So before you decide to do what you're going to say you're going to do, yeah. you've got to take the potatoes out. I'm going to empty them out them. and put lettuces in the pot. Ah, right. So you're going to do a lettuce each in the pot. Maybe, maybe a bowl full of spring onions. Spring onions, radish, So whatever. we eat a lot of salad yeah. in at the minute. So we're rotating. But they need emptying. I ain't going to do a potato reveal. No. I'll just show them at the end. Yeah, yeah, once you've done it. Because everybody's doing potato reveals. Yeah, yeah. This blight, this one that had the last plant of blight on it, doesn't seem to be doing too bad. It seems like it's picked up, look. Yeah. Because there's the leaf with yeah. the blight on. Yeah, let's see what it is. And some more leaves down there with the yeah. blight on. Yeah, let's see what it is. And it doesn't seem to be... Well, there's a whole batch of this lot here. We're awful. They're all completely yellow. And I've lost. There's no. I've lost my little label. <laughs> You've lost your label, so you Would you have been the same as what was in this Not one? Not necessarily. No. This one's no. Cara. No. Cara summer. No. no. So would that have been a Cara? No. no. What's in the next one? What in there? Sarmi Sars. Sar Palmero. I can't really see the sir. That. Yeah, it's blurred, Robert, because of the sunlight. That's it. So that one is Sarpomira. So let's assume that it might be Sarpomira as well. It probably is. Uh, they're supposed to be blight free. These are supposed to be blight resistant. So yeah. maybe it had attacked it. I don't know. And then it's recovered right. itself somehow. Okay then. Right then guys. I think that's it for today. What do you say you, Rob? That's it. Yeah. Are you going to put kettle on? No. You're a devil. You are. No. Get the dog out. Oh, he's digging a hole through to next doors again. Come out there. It's just gone quite holy. Come on. Ow, yes, ow, ow, ow. Come on. It's quite a dip down there. That's supposed to be my gooseberry bush, but it didn't do very well this year because he he um, put the potatoes and it covered it all. <laughs> Come on then, out the way. Come on, let's go down. Let's go back down. All right, is that it? Yeah. Well, folks, that's the onions sort of tidied up. It seems that the Peter Glazebrook ones, they're the ones with the longer neck, are not as good as the other ones which are at least AOC but uh, that one there in the front I'm going to try and put back to seed right that is it for now see you later guys be good